It is difficult for a country of 150 million people to be administered centrally. Every time we have tried to administer anything centrally, we have failed. Um, immunization of children, we will fail. There are 774 local governments. I think that is where the government that touches the people ought to be. But what do we find? They don't even get their money. Even though constitutionally they are entitled to some money, we pass through the governor to give them as if they cannot have an account that they put money into. When Bill Clinton was living as the President of the United States, one of the jobs that he considered was to be mayor of New York. It was on the table. The man who is mayor of New York today, one of the richest men in the world, he never thought that the job mayor of New York was too small for him. I think people like you, people like me, ought to be considering getting into local government. We don't even name it properly. So when you hear local government, it's not, it's not, yeah, it's not trendy. So we also work in a local, in a local government. But if you know in the universities in the UK, and I'm sure of the University of Ife, there's a degree in local government administration. Yeah? Yes. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, who has ever been to their local government here? One, two, yeah. That's the number. That, that is how we, so we have left them there to do, these are people who are going to be serving, serving us. We have left them, and in Lagos, the budget of the local governments are heavy. Heavy. And you leave it to people who may not be like you. Did you know that they have city engineers, like people who went to Unilag, to UI, like you to study engineering? They have accountants that have SCA, CPA in that local government. Yeah, they have everybody. They have a medical officer of health who is a doctor in your local government. So when you are talking about that transparency, transparency and opaqueness is not only in Abuja. Abuja is the one you read about in the newspapers. There is more opaqueness next to your house. Right? Where the guy who's supposed to do the, to, to clean the drain in front of your house hasn't cleaned the drain. You don't even know who he is. You don't even know where he is. Fifty percent of the reasons we are where we are today is because we have done nothing about it. The moment we decide that enough is enough, and it's not by running for office, don't get me wrong, it's by insisting that the guy does. If you ever put an article about your local government in the papers based on fact or what they haven't done wrong, the following day, the, the people will come to that place and do it. So I'm saying that, I'm not only talking about what we are going to do, I'm saying that that which we are about to do is only doable once you do your own bit. Do you understand? We are in there, we are all roasting. Yeah, nobody talked, and I'm not even vice president yet. <laughs> right, until the candidate now said, come, I can't bear it anymore. Um, can we go outside? We need, we, 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 we should get out of the fleet training and take charge of our lives. We don't have to be insulting, we don't have to be abusive, but we can say, you know what, where do you, think, where do you want to take that thing? Is it there? All right, fine. The road you are taking is not the right road. Take this road. And they'll be guided by it. And when people know that they're going to be asked for what they are doing, accountability comes out. 